thank you so much for joining me on this video. Um, so today Magpie Beauty have just brought out a new um, dust pigment, um, which is baby. So as you can see there, it's quite a nice bright white. And what we're gonna do today in this video is I'm gonna show you how we can create a baby boomer or a French ombre effect nail using the pigment um, baby. So we'll get started. So I'm gonna start off with doing a coat of Good Golly Miss Molly, which is a nice um, nude pink from Magpie Beauty. And then for my second coat, I'm gonna do a layer of Come What May. So this is more of a sheer pinky color and I just love um, layering these two tones up together. There's quite a few ways of applying um, your Magpie Beauty Baby Pigment. Um, there's a few ways we've tried and tested that we have found that's worked, but if you find any ways um, yourself that has worked as well, please let me know. I would love to hear about them. Um, but I'm gonna show you a few methods in this video today. So the first method is with us using um, Velvet Top, which is a matte top coat, as our next layer on this tip. So I'm gonna paint on one layer of Velvet Top for our first method. You may find with some top coats that you do get some streaks in them after applying them and painting them on. So if this does happen, just pop your tip upside down just for 30 seconds to help self-level itself out before you put it into the lamp. And for this coat, I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds in the Magpie lamp um, so that we've still got a nice tacky layer there. And then I'm going to pop it back into the lamp for another 30 seconds once I've applied that pigment. While that's curing into the lamp, I'm just gonna put a little bit of baby pigment onto a piece of parchment paper. So you can use any palette, parchment paper, or tin foil, um, whatever you have to hand, and just put a little bit onto your, um, onto your palette or parchment paper. And then we're gonna need a glitter applicator brush, which is this one just here, to be able to apply our pigments with. So now with my applicator brush, I'm just gonna pat into this um, pigment just to make sure it breaks up slightly and um, to make it nice and thin onto the nail. And we don't need a lot of pigment at all on our applicator brush, so just dust a little bit of that off if you get too much in all the bristles. And we're gonna start from our tip of our nail and all we're gonna do is just lightly tap this in to that matte top coat up until about when it reaches about a third of the nail coverage, because we want about a third of the nail being fully covered with this pigment. So now with a nice clean brush, all we're gonna do is work our way back with the rest of that pigment on our brush really lightly and gently patting it in to create a little bit more of an ombre effect. We might have to go over this with a little bit more depending on how it blends. Now that's fully cured, I'm gonna go over with a thin coat of Peach Give Me Strength, just to help blend those two colors in together. And now we can just go over with our top coat once that is cured and then cure this final coat of top coat in the lamp as well. There we are, that's our first method of applying baby pigment. I'm now gonna grab out another tip um, that I've just painted with the same base. So with one coat of Good Golly Miss Molly and one coat of Come What May. And this time we are gonna apply full frilled over the entire nail instead. And we're gonna cure this um, for two minutes in the Magpie Light, um, Magpie Lamp, sorry. So two minutes in the Magpie Lamp. And then we are gonna apply our pigment on top of this one. Once your full foil has been cured in the lamp for two minutes, all you've got to do is just give it a quick wipe with your prep and dehydrate over the top. And then we're gonna do the same method. So we're gonna get our baby pigment and we're gonna press in our applicator brush to make sure that we break up all those um, little pieces. And we're gonna start at the tip of the nail 
I'm going to start by covering up the first third of the nail with the full pigment. And then once we've done that, we're going to dust off our brush, making sure it's all nice and clean and free of most of the pigments. And then once we've done that, we're going to go in and start working our way back up the nail by just pressing down with that little bit of excess pigment. And now with this one, I'm going to go over the top with a layer of Give Me Strength. And we're going to dab in some of the new um, Sarah glitter, which is a really fine glitter um, that we're going to do an ombre with on top of this. So while that's curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'm now going to get my Sarah glitter, which is a really pretty fine white glitter. And I'm going to pop another little bit onto my um, parchment paper. And for this, I'm going to use my ombre brush. So now that's out the lamp after doing 60 seconds in there with the um, Give Me Strength. Now what we want to do is just tap our ombre brush into that glitter and working our way back, we can just press that in and dab it down to about half way down that ombre. And then we're going to take off most of that glitter off our ombre brush and then we can turn it upside down and all we're going to do is press down and blend that glitter down the nail. You can just see how pretty that Sarah glitter is over this ombre. We're now going to use our Give Me Strength over the top again, so just a thin coat of our Give Me Strength. And then I'm going to cure this into the lamp for 60 seconds or so. And then top coat and we're going to cure again for the final 60 seconds for this tip in the lamp. So this was our second technique of applying the baby pigment powder. Um, we're going to do a third way now because I can appreciate that a lot of people might not have velvet top coat and they might not have full foiled. So we're going to do our third technique now. And I've got exactly the same tip with a layer of Good Golly Miss Molly and a layer of Come What, Come what May. And this time we are going to use our base coat using a coat of All About The Base, which is one of Magpie Beauty's base coats. So I'm going to go in with a thin coat of All About The Base over the entire nail. And I'm going to cure this into the Magpie lamp for 60 seconds. For this third way of applying the baby pigment, I've decided to add in a little bit of um, the neon collection, um, which is Dora, one of the neon blue uh, pigment powders. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of this in with the baby powder to create a pastel blue ombre on our nail. So we only need the tiniest bit of this pigment added into the white. So I'm gonna pick out a tiny, tiny little bit and place it just on the side of the baby pigment. And using my glitter applicator brush, I'm just going to dab them both together with my ombre brush. Make sure they're fully blended and you can see it starts creating a really nice pastel blue colour. So now my All About The Base has been in the Magpie lamp for a minute. So I'm going to use um, my applicator brush to just dab in this blue pigment to the tip of the nail. So I've just started with the top um, third of the nail and then I'm going to dust off the rest of that pigment onto a paper towel. And then I'm just going to use it to dab it back to make this ombre.
paint another layer of All About The Base over the top because All About The Base has a slightly milky um, texture to it. So I'm going to make sure I paint that over the whole top of the nail. Now that that's been cured in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'm now going to go in with my top coat and cure that for another 60 seconds as well. So these are the three finished looks of my baby pigment powder. Um, so this is the one I've applied into the matte top coat, so into velvet top. This is the one I applied into the full foil gel um, with the addition of the Sarah glitter. And then my third tip here, which I applied into all about the base um, with the addition of Dora pigment powder as well to create this pastel blue. So obviously you can mix and match these tips. You could always do um, a pastel ombre into one of the other techniques, um, or you could do the, just the plain baby pigment into that last technique. Um, but if you find your own, um, your own way of applying your baby pigment, um, feel free to pop it into the comments because I always love to read them and give them a go also. Um, but thank you so much for watching today and I really hope you enjoy applying your baby pigment um, from Magpie Beauty.